Hi, my name is Keith Nickel, uh, and today I'd like to talk about tempo in free skate. But before I do that, what I'd really like to do is put a shout out to Eau Claire Gloves and Mitts. They've been a longtime sponsor, and, and I really enjoy their products. Uh, if you get cold hands like I do, their gloves, and especially their mitts, will keep you warm. They've also started to get into hats and, and tubes and this sort of thing. I find this really handy. I can pull it up when I go into the lodge. Uh, and uh, for COVID-19 purposes, it uh, works outside as well as inside. So if there are other uh, distributors or manufacturers of cross-country skis, boots, poles, or clothing, or any other product uh, that might be of interest to cross-country skiers, let me know and I'll let you know how you can be involved in my YouTube channel. Currently we're getting about 4,500 views a day and overall my videos have been viewed over 4 million times. But what I'd like to do now is look at free skate uh, under different types of tempo situations. So if my objective is to go as fast as possible, I try to land on a flat ski, but I move my upper body right down the track. Often when I see free uh, people doing the free skate down the track, their legs are too wide apart and their skis are always landing on an edge. You can get going quite fast like this, but you really want to land on a flat ski. Landing on an edge ski is your problem. Try bringing your feet more underneath you like this and you'll have more success with a bit better glide because you're now on a flat ski. So when we lengthen out the glide, change up the tempo, go at a slower tempo, uh, this is what it looks like. Remember we still want to bring our feet right underneath our body like I'm doing now. I'm just lengthening out the glide. We can also pretend we're a speed skater. Uh, this is also another way to get a slower tempo, more relaxed tempo. In this case, we put our hands behind our back. And just like speed skaters, we want to get a long glide. So we try to put our head over top of each ski to get a nice long glide. So let's just recap what we've done here today. We've looked at tempo and how it relates to the free skate. If our objective is to go fast, we want to have a high tempo and basically keep our torso right down the track, pumping away with our arms going directly down the track. If on the other hand, we want to go at a slower tempo, maximize our glide, like many recreational skiers might want to do, we then, again, in both cases, put down a flat ski. But in the second case, we want to get up and over and balance on that ski. Ideally, put our toe, knee, and nose over top of that ski, and then move over to, over to the other ski and put the toe, knee, and nose over top of that ski. That toe, knee, nose alignment will keep you uh, centered on your skis, balanced on your skis, and is a real key to good skating. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and share it with skiers that you think might benefit. See you on the trails.